Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, and I am your exchange's senior enlisted advisor. Today, we have a special treat, right? This was kind of last minute. Yeah, uh, my replacement, who we hired months ago, happened to be in town. You know, so we're going to do a little turnover. We're going to chat with him. We're going to introduce him to all of you. But before I get to him, ladies, let me introduce my co-host, Julie and Leah Matthews. Ladies, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm fine. You see, I'm in the building, hanging <laughs> out. You know what I mean? Trying out a new setup. How about you, Leah? I'm doing good, Chief. Doing right, good. Hey, good to see you guys. Hey, let's get this rocking. Julie, you mind introducing our guest? So we're here with that. It's like a very special episode, just like those TV shows in the 80s. It'd be like a very special episode of Different Strokes like or <laughs> Facts of Life. It's like a very special episode of Chief Chat to introduce all of you to Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, who will be PCSing to Dallas to join us as the Army and Air Force Exchange Service's new senior enlisted advisor. Please help us give us give. Oh, my gosh. Please help us give him a warm Chief Chat welcome. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Chief Osby, we're so happy that you're here and that you could be on Chief Chat with us. For everybody watching, drop a note in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. Share some love with Chief Osby. We'll read your questions and comments out loud throughout the broadcast. And if you're not already following our page, you should. Why? Because Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes a couple of them. Um, and so following us, we'll let you know who's coming up next. We have four special guests this week besides Chief Osby. So we have Siak Colon Lopez, New Orleans Saints running back Latavius Murray, country singer Kylie Morgan, and Miami Dolphins wide receiver Malcolm Perry. Awesome. Hey, that sounds, that sounds greatly. I'm so excited with the lineup. As a matter of fact, it's so great. You know, a lot of people out there know I know nothing about sports. I might have KO. Chief Osby, take over a couple of those for me just to get his feet wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to throw him into the fire, make it happen. Yeah. All right. So here we are. So before I get started, I'll just tell everyone, right, I do have an assignment. I'm going to Tyndall Air Force Base to be the group superintendent of the 325th Mission Support Group. So big up to all of them out there at Tyndall. And of course, we have the man, the myth, the legend, KO. Great. Everybody speaks highly. Uh, of, of Kevin Osby everywhere I talked. I had people reach out to me from different circles, people that don't know each other, saying, oh, KO, KO, KO gonna be the new senior listed advisor. And I was like, I was like, yeah, you know KO? They were like, yeah, man, he's gonna be good. Man, he's gonna be good, he's gonna be legit. And you know, I met him, uh, just met him about an hour ago. He's gonna be a great fit for the exchange and he's out here to take care of all the soldiers, airmen, their family members and everyone. I can tell you that right now. So let's get this going. Chief Osby, thanks for joining us today. Of course, we're excited. You've been a little bit, I took you a little bit around the building. Uh, I would like to introduce you to our viewers. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your Air Force career and your current assignment. But before you get to your Air Force career, tell us about that little Marine stint you did too. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll let you guys. <laughs> so thank y'all for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, Julie, it's funny you mentioned different strokes because if I, if I shave my mustache, I look like Willis from different strokes. So, uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that's hilarious. so yeah. And, and all those people that talk nice, that's, uh, I've been doing bake sales and car washes to pay them off. So, uh, I, it, it all, it all <laughs> circled back around. But, uh, my name is, uh, Chief Mass Sergeant, uh, Kevin Osby. Uh, I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. So it's not too far away from here, about a couple hours down the road. Um, I've been in the military 23 years. And so um, I'm married to Katrina, been married to her for 15 years. Uh, I, right, Katrina, I think 15 years. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah. I hope Katrina's uh -oh. not watching. Like, don't don't, don't trouble, quote Chief. me on that. Don't <laughs> quote me on that. And then I, ha I have three boys. Um, I have a 20-year-old, his name is Trayvon. I have a 15-year-old, his name is Xavier. And I have a 10-year-old named Isaac. And so they keep me, they keep me young and they keep me uh, learning TikTok and, and, and Mario <laughs> Brothers and all that other stuff. So it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, I started off my military career in the Marine Corps. So hoorah to all my devil dogs out there in uh, Facebook land. Uh, Where's Johnny Olsen at when you need uh, him? Exactly, exactly. So uh, yeah, I, I didn't know, I had no idea what I wanted to do in life. And uh, if you say that to a Marine Corps recruiter, that means you want to be a United States Marine. So. Uh, it was definitely uh, Staff Sergeant Kurt Carrington. He was my recruiter. Uh, he, 
he he used some 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 uh some tactics to get me in uh, as a young 17 year old. He he showed me he told me to come into his office and and show him my check stub from McDonald's. So I was working at McDonald's, probably making two hundred dollars every week or every other weekend. So he I bring in my check stub and then he puts his LES right next to me, and I saw commas on next to the numbers like I've never seen commas before. I was like, hold on, I, <laughs> you mean I could have commas on my on my check stub? So I was like, yeah, let, sign me up. So I was that I was that naive and that, but it was definitely the best best decision I made in my life. Um, one one of the best decisions I made in my life because um, uh, I needed I needed some structure. Um, I came from a from a single parent you know home, uh, a lot of stuff all over the place, and so just having that structure and that foundation has helped me uh, throughout my entire career. So I decided to get out the Marine Corps so I can be closer to Trayvon, uh, my oldest son. And I joined the Air Force Reserve. So I was in the reserves for about three and a half years. And that, that was like a huge, uh, that was probably the biggest spectrum jump you can think of. So active duty Marine Corps to Air Force Reserve where they're, they're on first name basis and all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay, is this the military? Like, this is kind of cool. So <laughs> I did that for about three and a half years. I kind of got my life together uh, and then came back on active duty. I was in San Antonio for nine years. Uh, I, I did a little stand at uh, Wilford Hall Medical Center. Uh, I'm a 4 a by background. That's a health health service management, um, health services manager, which is a kind of does the support functions of the hospital. So administ administrator, resource management, uh, that that type of stuff. So I was at Wilford Hall for about four years. Then I did two years at uh, Randolph and it came back and did some higher headquarters stuff there. Then I went to, from there to Herbert Field, Florida. So I was in Herbert Field, Florida at the med group there for about three years. And then I, I moved from there to, um, to I did some DC. I was trying to avoid DC, my military career, but uh, I was uh, unable to do that. So I did a year up there. And now I'm currently at Keesler Air Force Base. Um, I'm the superintendent of the medical diagnostic and therapeutic squadron. Um, that, that's basically your radiology, pharmacy, lab, uh, nutritional medicine, uh, all those kind of fall under under our squadron. And um, I've been there for about a year and a half. And uh, I didn't even know this was an opportunity I could have really, to be honest with you. I'd never heard of the senior listed advisor position. Um, and the, the ironic thing is I moved my family to Dallas, Texas about a year and a half ago because I wanted to uh, kind of set up for retirement maybe. Uh, so I did want to get closer to them. I, I was trying to get back to San Antonio or Dallas, but man, y'all got me right here in Dallas. So that's mm -hmm. freaking awesome. So. Um, but I'm excited to be here, and um, I, I, I want to thank uh, Lewis for, for hooking me up, and he's, he got me a coin made already. He got flags in the background already. It's, pretty, it's awesome, so thank you. Being a chief in the medical field during the pandemic, that must be tough. What has been the biggest challenge you faced with regards to leading airmen during the COVID-19 pandemic, and how have you overcome, and have you had to modify your leadership style and has anything changed kind of with how you lead your team during COVID-19? Hell yeah. So COVID, <laughs> COVID, punched, COVID punched everybody in the face, to be honest with you. It's a, um, the medical field. We have this thing called a, a disease containment plan where, where, you know, we put everything on paper and everything looks good on paper until you get punched in the face. And they're like, hold on. Like this, <laughs> this, is, a, this is a lot different uh, in real life. So we had to stop having um, like big meetings and, and had to do a lot of virtual stuff, kind of like you guys are doing here. Uh, it's been very difficult because we had to really figure out how we could service our patients and, and not have them come in the building. And so um, mm -hmm. there was a lot of setup for for outside COVID clinics and and different our pharmacy. We had to, people couldn't come in the building for our pharmacy. So it it changed our lives completely. And uh, right now we're in this kind of weird phase of because um, we we kind of I kind of liking it to uh, you, you're preparing for like the zombie apocalypse, right? And so you're up here, you're nailing two by fours and stuff to your your, your windows and you're just waiting on, on stuff to come. And, and then the first wave, it really didn't come. And now you started to take those, take those, uh, boulder, take those boards off and like, oh no, the zombies are here. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's really picked up and, and we're kind of in between of, of, of seeing patients and also uh, trying to, to uh, keep people safe from this COVID mm -hmm. thing. So as far as my leadership style, I'm, I'm a people, I love to build people. And so um, it's, it's been difficult 
keeping my six feet, I guess I maybe maybe now I'm all of the people's personal space so that I had to kind of check that. I was like, okay, maybe I was been too close for this too long anyway. But um, I, I like to engage with people and, um, and and I'm a firm believer that if you if you invest in your people, uh, the mission will get done. So um, so I still I still have that. I'm still able to um, uh, send out emails and, and I'll, I'll do a drive by and do a you know elbow dap uh, you know every once in a while. But uh, it's it's been a challenge, but we're, we're making it through it. Good. Glad to see that you guys were able to pivot and make do with all that's going on right now. So cheap. When is your official start date with us? What are you most looking forward to in your new role? I probably pretty sure you're going to say chief chat host, right? Uh, chief chat. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good answer. Now, yeah. So I, right now uh, I'm here for a week, just trying to learn the ropes or just meet people for the most part. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll meet everybody and forget their name uh, two or three times over before I, I actually remember it. But uh, my last, my projected departure date from her, from uh, Keesler is 10 August. So I'll probably be checking in sometime th that week or the next week of August. So um, I'd say between the 10th and the 17th is when I'll be officially on board. And I just, uh, I, I most look forward to this, of course, interacting with you all, but uh, also just getting out there and, and seeing people once we can start traveling and uh, because I'm going to miss that about uh, Keesler because I have a lot of young airmen that um, I'm able to try to, you know, give perspective and, and some kind of guidance to. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to getting out there, thanking the associates, thanking the service members and their families for supporting the exchange and uh, just, you know, being on the team. So I, I'm look, looking forward to that a whole lot. Okay, hey, trust me, trust me, KO, you're going to have 30 million uh, customers coming down your door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, lots of time, lots of time to chat. Lot of time. <laughs> awesome. On the phone, on the phone, through emails, through Facebook, through Twitter, Instagram, they're going to find oh. you and you're going to oh, be there yeah. to help them and you'll be there to help them support them. I know you will. Yeah. Yeah. I will be. I, I appreciate you. I still, I still shoot them your way though. I, I'll be like, you know what? He's still <laughs> I don't, for, I don't forward. <laughs> hey, yeah, he had Tinder. He had Tinder. Hold on, let me call him up real yeah, quick. Exactly. <laughs> hey, so can you, uh, 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 hey, Chief, can you tell us about your impressions of the exchange and maybe a time or two the exchange was there for you and your family? Oh, man. So um, I can remember when I was deployed uh, in 2008. And to, to have that, that little piece of home over there, it was, was everything. Because it's, uh, it's difficult being, I was uh, deployed to Baghdad. Uh, in 2008 and 2009 so uh it you know you have you have things set up over there you have like the uh the local community they have like these little booths on base bazaars or whatever they call them mm -hmm. and uh you'll go in there and you'll see freaking like games with misspelled words on it and all kind of other stuff right <laughs> and so i'm just like man this i don't even know if this is legit so to be able to go over to uh the 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 exchange and actually and that was like a big thing like everybody was like okay today we're going to the exchange it was like going to the mall uh back home home state and so of course we would get dressed up like we're going to the mall we'd have freaking pt clothes on but uh you know just having having that there was uh was everything and and, and it it bring it, it brings i know it, it just brings a little bit of america to wherever we're at in the world and that, and i think that's amazing and of course um my family, we use the exchange all the time. Matter of fact, I got a twenty dollar uh, rewards card for the for swiping my exchange card a, a thousand times, and so I I have not used it yet, but I plan on using it pretty soon. Hey, you just made the Millstar team's day downstairs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy yeah, I, Ward, Tommy Ward's probably like, yes, yes, yes. Well, they, they sent me an email saying, hey, you you got like you got to do seventeen dollars before you get your gift card. So the first thing I did was like go and spend thirty dollars at the deal so I can get my gift card. <laughs> got him. Got him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like you've already read our talking point. You're talking about taste to home. You're talking about lifeline to America and military stars. Like somebody put the cheap talking points in front of you already. Oh, That's no. pretty funny. No? It's, not a, it's not on my second screen at all. Like I promise. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny too. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, chief chat host is going to be something um, you're going to be doing with us, which Leah and I are really excited about. So 
if you could interview one celebrity on Chief Chat, who would it be and why? Oh, man. Ooh. Probably, you know, I go for LeBron James. Uh, right now, he's he's the most, probably one of the most famous athletes on the planet, right? And, um, and, and he plays for my favorite basketball team, which is the Los Angeles Lakers. And so for those that don't know me, I'm a... I'm a diehard Laker fan. I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. And of course, being from Louisiana, a uh, LSU fan, a diehard LSU fan. But yeah, LeBron James, he, 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 I like to get in the mind of a person that is trying to be the best at what they do. And also he has a very, very good perspective. Um, you know, he, he shares his background. He invests in, in kids and, and, and his community. And I just admire that about him. I think that's an awesome thing. So yeah, if we, if I'm going to, you know, pick one person. I'm gonna go big. So let's go, LBJ. Where you at? <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Come on, pitch him. Let's LeBron go. James for chief chat. Yeah. Hey, if you're listening, LeBron, you got it right here, man. Come on, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got Jen Huffman. Jen Huffman says that Lakers. She's a Lakers fan, is what she says on here. So. Oh, she's a good. She's a good person. She's a good. Person. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure all the Cowboys people probably haven't commented yet, or all oh, yeah, the Cowboys, yeah, exactly. all the Cowboys haters haven't chimed yeah, in yet. Oh but I'm man, sure they will. it's a, it's a nation of haters out there. Trust me, <laughs> <laughs> a nation of haters. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we wanted to make this quick and sweet. We just wanted to let you know the audience get to virtually meet you and introduce yourself. You got any last words before I close this out, Ko? Oh man, just you know, thanking you guys for this opportunity. Um, I've, I'm super blessed and fortunate to be able to even, you know, get this assignment. Um, I, 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 I know I got some big shoes to fill with you, uh, Chief. I appreciate you for, uh, you know, pushing, pushing the, the, the AFES forward as much as you have in the past three years. And like I said, if I could carry the ball a little bit further, like that, that's, that's my goal in life. And so I uh, appreciate you for handing that off. Uh, thank you, Julie and Leah, for for uh, welcoming me in with open arms. Uh, they got a freaking coin for me already, which is amazing. Uh, I have never had my own coin. I, I barely have had my own office. So this is like number two or three offices that I've ever had. So uh, it, this is amazing. And I just look forward to, to help serve, serving our service members out there and their family. So um, uh, whatever I can do, please, please reach out to me. All right. Hey, so people can't see it, right? But if, if, if KO were to turn his camera to, to his left a little bit, you'll see downtown Dallas in the background. I don't know if you can I got, see it. I got you. It's, it's kind of, yeah, it's right there. You can see it back there on the bottom right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never had a view. I can tell you that. <laughs> Chief Osby, lots of people are welcoming, welcoming you on the Facebook feed. Several people saying welcome. Um, Jose says, welcome to the exchange. Look forward to working with you. Jen Huffman, she's watching from NASJRB. Awesome. Ryan says, welcome. Pierre Laxa, he's with Army MWR and he's watching as well. So hi, Pierre. And Eddie Hill, he's one of our favorite APHIS truck drivers or exchange truck drivers. So hi, Eddie. Man, hey, hello. Eddie. <laughs> hello, Eddie and everybody else that said hello. I appreciate y'all. Uh, like I said, hey. I, I look forward to working with y'all. Hey, you know what? Let's do something. Uh, Pierre, you're out there watching. Pierre's always been watching. Pierre is always hey, been watching. Let's get let's get Pierre on the show with one of these football players. Why don't we get Pierre? Pierre, send me your email. Let me get your email, Pierre. I have his number. You. We can text him. Let's text him. Let's send him a link and let's put him on. Uh, you, let's put him on tomorrow with La Latavius Murray. Because I'm All not right. going to be here. Ko's going to do it. So you need a guest. All right, Pierre. How's Pierre, that's Pierre, the head of MWR over there, right? Or he leads the, the social media team. I'm not sure his exact position, but he's always watching, always supporting. Let's take care of MWR. Let's see if he wants to come on. Hopefully he's not too nervous. Pierre's a good guy. <laughs> I think he'll be yeah. fine. Pierre's a good guy. We love Pierre. Pierre's a Michigan <laughs> fan too. Just throwing that out there. I don't know what that means. He means he likes <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about the Wolverine. I think they're the Wolverines. He likes them. Hey, Chief, um, is your wife is Katrina? Is she KD on Facebook? She is. She <laughs> says you've been married for sixteen years. Uh -huh. Just an oh! FYI, so take that home. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> she put night. a purple. She put a purple heart next to it. She says sixteen <laughs> years, Chief. Purple heart. So I think you're okay. I think like. I don't, yeah. yeah, I think you guys are. She good. didn't give you the frowning face or the. Yeah, mad there wasn't face. the crying emoji <laughs> or the yes. mad face. She, she knows how slow I am, so uh, it's all good. 
<laughs> well, giving hey. you some grace today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first time, first time. He was nervous. He was nervous, KD. He was a little nervous. That's all. <laughs> he was in the ballpark. But hey, AKO, hey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with us. Uh, a lot of people are aware, right? My predecessor works in the building, Sean Applegate. So if I'm gone at Tyndall, you'll always have Sean Applegate to talk to downstairs. You know, he was Chief 1.0. I came in, they called me Chief 2.0. Now you're here. It's going to be Chief 3.0. Oh, that's all right. what I'm talking about. 3.0. I know. 3.0, right? So, hey, thanks for stopping by. I know that you're going to be a great addition uh, to the team, uh, a great addition to Chief Chat, and I know you'll carry it forward to boost the morale for our airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and Coasties. I'm looking forward to watching from my new assignment at Tyndall Air Force Base. Hey, take care, all right? Everyone, we out. All right. Peace. Dallas out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>